Hey guys, what's up? We are back with another video today, and today we are doing our Auburn football prediction. Hit that subscribe button down below and help me reach 1,000 subscribers or 1,100 subscribers by the end of June. And like I was just saying, thank you guys so much. This is my first college football prediction video since the uh, hitting 1,000 subscribers, and I cannot thank each and every single one of you guys enough. If you want to join uh, the Football Expert channel here, hit that subscribe button down below. Also, make sure that you like this video if you enjoy it. Some Auburn fans may dislike it. If you dislike it, that's fine. You could dislike the video, but I do ask this. Comment your opinion down below. Let me know your thoughts, what your record prediction will be, and I respond to every single one of my comments. So also check that out because there will probably be a response in that as well. So also one other thing, make sure that you check out the podcast, uh, the playlist for all of the college football videos link. Again, for both of those will be in the description. The website, the link will be on that, as well as, and this is the important one, College Football Roundup. The link will be in the top right-hand corner up here. Um, and make sure that you check that out because that will have all of the um, – a, all of the college football content for weekly predictions and stuff like that and possibly some live streams. But that is such a long intro. Let's not delay anymore, and let's get into today's video. So as we make our way over to Auburn's schedule, Auburn has a, an interesting schedule this year. Uh, they have a tough um they have a tough SEC schedule, as always. SEC is not an easy conference to play in. And even though I'm a Notre Dame fan, I do admit that the SEC does make it a very tough schedule. Um, but uh, off-season or for non-conference, not off-season, non-conference-wise, a uh, pretty easy schedule. You start off with a game against UMass. UMass is a little bit better than they have been in the past. They're not as bad as they have been. Um, they do have some solid players this year, but they're still going to be crap. They're still awful. Um, they really don't bring much to the table. Um, like I said, they're better than they have been, but that's not saying much. Um, so moving on to the next game, you have Cal. Uh, and Cal presents kind of an interesting proposition here. Uh, Cal, you have a lot of good running back uh, depth. I'm trying to remember uh, – Cal, uh, sophomore running back. Um, give me a second. Um, but as I was saying, Cal does present an interesting problem. You have to, uh, go there. It's a road game early on in the season. Uh, Jaden Ott is his name. Uh, a guy that really had a breakout freshman year. Uh, just really, really solid season overall for him. Uh, but, when it comes to this uh, Cal team and against Auburn, Auburn does have Peyton Thorne. They have a solid quarterback, I would say. Uh, you definitely have some uh, potential to be able to uh, have some solid quarterback play, especially compared to last year. Um, with that, that was some pretty um, bad quarterback play, let's just say that. Um, but – then again, I think that you guys, at the end of the day, do get the win. Uh, even though I think Cal is a solid team, I think that it is going to be a W at the end of the day uh, for this Auburn Tigers team. Then you welcome home for your homecoming game, the Sanford Bulldogs. Uh, another win here. Uh, I don't think that there's going to be many issues uh, when it comes to dealing with Sanford. Uh, I think that this is just you're put in a really tough spot. Uh, if you're Sanford to come back, uh, come over and play uh, the Auburn Tigers and get a win there. Then you head to uh, Texas A&M for your first SEC matchup of the season. And let's be honest, it's not an easy way to start off uh, your SEC season. It's not the toughest in the world. By no means is it the toughest uh, team in the world to start off. But I think at the end of the day, it's a loss. I think that AM, with it being on the road, if it's at Auburn, I'd probably give the win to Auburn. But with it being on the road, uh, with AM adding some pieces, getting a little bit better, and offensively, I don't think they can get as m any more incompetent as they were last year. And by no means do I think Auburn is, uh, Auburn, I think, is also going to get better. But when it comes down to, I think AM does get the win at the end of the day. 
And then this is where uh, the tough schedule really gets underway. You have home game against Georgia. That's a loss. That is, there's just not much hope there in that game, in my opinion. Uh, I think Brian Harskin, um, I, I really haven't mentioned him uh, at the beginning of this show, um, but Harskin, uh, Harson, a really good hire, not Harskin. Uh, Harson, a really good hire. Obviously, he was a former um, Old Miss head coach. Um, and that definitely helps to set a pre- – oh, my – Oh my word. Wow. Um, that Brian Harskin was fired. Um, that's the wrong coach. It's Hugh freeze. I'm sorry. I know you guys are going to comment. That is, that's bad. That's really bad. And it's kind of unforgivable. Either way, Hugh freeze, the new hire. He was the former old miss ho- head coach. Completely forget everything I said about Brian Harskin. Forget it. Um, bad head coach. Either way, back to the point. Then you have a road game against LSU coming off a bye week. It is nice that you come off a bye week, but Jaden Daniels will be a little bit too much to handle for the red, uh, for the uh, Tigers. I think that you're just in a tough spot when it comes to that game. You have a a, a tough environment when it comes to um, a a big time team like LSU coming in, uh, heading there. Uh, it's obviously not e- easy to play in the Bayou. Um, you're going to have a loss there. Then you have Old Miss coming to town and quarterback play. Um, this is the only, uh, this is one of the few teams that I think quarterback play you may win out of, uh, of the SEC games this year. Uh, Texas A&M, I think, Peyton Thorne may be better than um, whoever ends up being the quarterback at AM. and um, and he may be you may be better uh, than either Jackson Dart uh, or Spencer Sanders or whoever ends up being the quarterback at Old Miss. Um, he may be better than them. He'll probably be better than AJ Swine, uh, the Vanderbilt uh, quarterback, but. Um, other than that, maybe he's better than Tyler Buckner. I would doubt it, especially by the end of the year. But point stands. Old Miss, you're just going to get a little bit too much of offensive production from Old Miss. And right now with Hugh Freeze, he it's his old team. It's going to be a big matchup for Freeze particularly because, well, this is his old team. It's the university that fired him. It's a home game for Auburn. There's a lot of attributes that I think could possibly push this game uh, into Auburn's hands, but at the moment, they really haven't shown a lot, and last year was really depressing with the loss of Tank Bigsby Bigsby at running back. uh, You're looking at a tough road ahead. Then you have Miss State, and here's the problem here. Miss State has a quarterback, and it's not that Auburn doesn't. I think that Peyton Thorne is not bad but he's a bottom half of the SEC quarterback. I'm sorry. Last year, Peyton Thorne had a lot of issues. And the SEC, by no, he, he's a good quarterback, but in SEC terms, he's just not. And Zaire Franklin, or Zakari Franklin, um, I'm man, I'm terrible with pronouncing names today. Um, the UTSA transfer that just came in a few weeks ago, um, he will help, but again, all these transfers coming into a brutal SEC division, um, and that is the SEC West, it's going to be tough. I got another loss there, and I know you Auburn fans are just fuming, but I'm going to add a little bit more fuel to the fire there, and I'm going to have you losing to Vanderbilt. And here's the thing. If this game was at Auburn, by no means am I giving it to Vanderbilt. But hear me out. Hear my reasoning. Vanderbilt beat Florida last year. Vanderbilt beat Kentucky last year. Vanderbilt went five and seven. Vanderbilt looked better than Auburn last year. Just plain and simple, they looked better. And when it comes down to it, when I'm predicting a game in which you're on the road, and it's not that Vanderbilt is a tough environment, but it's you don't have your own tough environment. It is a tough environment to go play at Auburn. But when you're not at Jordan Hare, then you have to go play somewhere else. So you don't have the home field advantage. It's not that Vanderbilt has the home field advantage, but you lose home field advantage. Then it comes down to this. Vanderbilt is increasing in talent under Clark Lee. They're getting better under Clark Lee. And I simply haven't seen Hugh Freeze at Auburn. And Auburn has a lot of transfers, but it's, I don't know. Like it is a lot of question marks here. So I hear you don't. Come at me uh, at least 
at least understand my train of thinking before you see this. Um, then you have Arkansas. You head on the road. That's just a tough matchup. KJ Jefferson and Rocket Sanders are back. Arkansas lost a lot of pieces, um, but at the same time, Arkansas is just purely the better team, uh, has proven that over the past couple of years. Then you have New Mexico State. Uh, I'm going to have to give you a lot. No, I'm joking. Uh, I'm giving you the win here. By no means is New Mexico State a good team. You'll get the win here. This is a game that I severely struggled with. Uh, Auburn, very good at beating Alabama uh, at Jordan-Hare and understandably slow. It. So it's a rivalry game. It's a home rivalry game. But when it comes down to it, Alabama at the end of the day is probably going to win this matchup. And unless if Hugh Freeze shows me otherwise, and by no means, if Hugh Freeze wins this year, I would not be shocked. Hear me out. I would not be shocked whatsoever that Auburn would lose that or Auburn would win that game. By no means would I be shocked that Auburn would win against Alabama because Q Freeze beat Alabama back to back years, which I think um, it is. He Hugh Freeze is like one of maybe two or three head coaches that has beat Saban back to back times. Uh, so you're in a tough spot if you are um, Auburn. You, I have you going four and eight. It's going to be a tough season. There's going to be a lot of obstacles ahead, and there's a lot to work on. And by no means do I think that 4-8 and eight is the ending point and Hugh Freeze isn't ever going to be able to improve or that you really end 4-8, and eight, that there's no chance that you win an SEC game this year. I've already told you, you may beat Vanderbilt. You may beat Ole Miss. You may beat Miss State. You may beat... Uh, even on Arkansas or in Alabama or maybe in LSU or Georgia, but those are tough matchups. Uh, and like I said, this is a daunting SEC schedule. By no means is this a cakewalk. So that's going to wrap up today's video. Hit two videos down below. One will be the podcast playlist. And also make sure you hit the subscribe button up here. Help me reach 1,100 subscribers by the end of June. So that's going to close out today's video. And as always, have a great day. Bye, guys.